Welcome to the jump. So what I'd like to do is show you how to find the midpoint uh, between two points. And what we're going to do is we're going to start up, start up this uh, graphically. And you can see each of these examples we have Cartesian coordinates. So it's not just two points on a normal line, but it's now going to be two points that are on a coordinate grid or a Cartesian coordinate plane. So the main important thing for the first two problems is we need to identify you know, what exactly the points are. But actually, I'm actually going to get kind of get away from that. It really doesn't even matter what those points are. If we want to find the midpoint, we got to find you know, the horizontal and the vertical uh, midpoint. And so basically, to kind of break it down, what we're looking for is we know that the midpoint, you know, and let's just call this midpoint R, is going to be somewhere in between this P and Q. Now, that's halfway, it's going to be halfway horizontally and halfway vertically. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to kind of draw two lines and be able to figure out what is that half distance. And I can see that half distance occurs about there and there. And just from that point, of, just from that point um, you know, I can verify this. You can see going over 1, 2, and then 1, 2, up 1, up 1. So you can see both those little hash marks are exactly in the midpoint. Now let's just identify where that point is. So 1, 2, 3. And then up one, two, three. So it looks like my midpoint R is at three, comma three. Okay, and that's basically what we are, you know, kind of doing in this example. Um, but we're going to show you more algebraically when we don't have a graph. But let's just kind of do one more example here. Um, over here again, I have my midpoint is going to uh, let's see. Um, horizontal distance, well, between R and T, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if my distance between my two points is 6, I know that the midpoint, um, you know, you can take 6 divided by uh, 2 is going to be 3. So that means the distance from each of my points horizontally is going to be 3. And um, another way you could look at this is finding the horizontal distance, if you remember from the number line, was basically taking my two points, my horizontal distance. So let's actually. Um, uh, let's just do this the old school kind of way here. So the horizontal distance here is 3, so it's going to be somewhere there. And then vertical distance, I'm going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 again. So that halfway distance is going to be 1, 2, and 3. So it looks like my vertical point here, and let's call this uh, u, my midpoint is going to be here, and it looks like it's going to be at 0, 1, 2, 3. And you can see that is the horizontal as well as the Vertical. So here's your horizontal. You can see that U is the midpoint there, and it's the vertical uh, midpoint as well. And that point U, which will be our midpoint, is zero comma three. Okay. Now this all kind of makes you know kind of sense when you have a graph, but more likely than not, you're not going to be having a graph to ask you the midpoint. So we need to be able to figure out a way to be able to do this without looking at a graph. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show the first one, but I'm I'm going to do I'm going to create a graph now, but um, I'm going to kind of work it a little bit more algebraically rather than just looking at the graphical representation. So whenever you are given two points, you can graph them unless you have some crazy numbers. And even if you do have crazy numbers, you know, you, you just need to approximate. You don't need to be anything exact because algebraically we can, we can be exact. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and graph this. So negative 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, that's my point A. And then B is negative 3, 1, 2, 3, up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. OK, so there's point B. So if I want to find my midpoint, I know that it's going to be you know, somewhere in, be in between those two, right? Well, for previously, what I did was I kind of found the, the midpoint horizontally, uh, negative 3. So what I did was I kind of found the midpoint you know, horizontally and the midpoint, uh, or vertically and the midpoint horizontally. Now, I'm looking on a graph, you could, you know, something like when you have grid paper, it's easy just to kind of count. But what if we have something where it's not as easy to kind of figure out where exactly this midpoint is? Um, especially if you graph something bad, like my scaling's all off and everything here. So I don't even know. That doesn't even look like the midpoint. Um, and that's probably wrong. So what we can do to what we can do to double check to make sure we have the correct midpoint is find the midpoint horizontally and vertically. And if you remember, when we had two points that are on a line, to find the midpoint, let's call them uh, x and y. To find the midpoint x and y, basically what we did was we did x plus y divided by 2, and that gave us z, which was our midpoint. So what I can see here is each of these coordinate points has an x coordinate. So we can call this x1 and x2, and a y coordinate, y1 and y2. And basically what we can do is we can just find the midpoint horizontally, and then, because notice you have a horizontal line, number line, and then we also have a vertical number line. So what we're going to do is just find the midpoints horizontally and the midpoints vertically. 
All right, so in this case, um, what I'm going to take is, uh, so my, for my horizontal midpoint, horizontal midpoint, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add up my two uh, x coordinates. So I'm going to do negative 4 plus negative 3 and then divide it by 2. Well, negative 4 plus negative 3 is going to be negative 7. Negative 7 divided by 2 is just going to be a negative 7 halves which if you use your calculator is roughly negative 3.5. And then for my vertical midpoint, um, I'm going to do the same thing for my vertical term. So I'm going to take negative 6 and add it to 4, and then divide by 2. So negative 6 plus 4 is going to be negative 2. Negative 2 divided by, um, negative 2, divided by 2 is equal to negative 1. So you can see that my midpoint is actually way off. It's actually supposed to be down here. And that just means I didn't really scale very well. <laughs> so you just got to be a little careful on this one. Um, but that's technically where my midpoint is. And the coordinates for my midpoint is now here's the x coordinate, and then there's the y coordinate. So negative 3.5 comma negative 1. And that's going to be my midpoint. All right. Um, so hopefully you kind of understand there, there, there's a little bit of this formula that kind of works. And basically to find the midpoint is we can now kind of derive what our midpoint formula is, which is basically x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And that's basically all we simply need to do is just find the midpoint horizontally and vertically and then put them back as a, as a coordinate point. So First thing I like to do, you know, graphing it's helpful. It's helpful to visualize and especially see why that formula works. But for the rest of these, for time purposes, I'm just going to kind of label them as x1, x2, y1, and y2, and then go ahead and find the midpoint. Now, one important thing is it doesn't matter which one you label as x1, which one you label as x2. Um, you're just going to want to plug them in. So you have 0 plus 2 divided by 2, comma, 0 plus negative 4 divided by 2. So 0 plus 2 divided by 2 is going to equal to 1. And 0 plus negative 4 divided by 2 is equal to negative 2. Okay? Uh, now let's just kind of get into some, you know, just some more examples here, some different numbers, adding in some more negatives. Uh, this one, let's do, I'll even midpoint. I'm just going to kind of work with the x's here. 13 plus negative 6 divided by 2, comma 8 plus negative 6 divided by 2. So 13 plus negative 6 is going to be a 7. So again, I have another 7 halves, comma, negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. And again, I just like to leave things as fractions. I really don't like leaving them as decimals. But you know, it depends on your teacher or the test or you know, what you have here. But I'd prefer to leave them as a fractional answer. Um, and then last but not least is uh, 12 plus 7 is going to be 19 uh, divided by 2, comma, 11 divided by 2. So you can see in both these cases, basically I just did 12 plus 7, which was 19, divided that by 2. And then 2 plus 9, which was 11, and then divided that by 2. And the really only thing that we can get a little tricky on these is you know, adding fractions and decimals. But you know, I just kind of decided to you know, stay away from that um, and just really kind of focus on making sure you guys understand how to find the midpoint between two points. Thanks. <laughs>